Land rights are indeed a crucial aspect of housing justice for people living in vulnerable settlements in India. Secure land tenure can provide residents with stability, access to basic services, and the ability to invest in their homes and communities. Additionally, land rights can empower slum dwellers to advocate for improved living conditions and participate in urban development processes. However, addressing housing justice also requires comprehensive strategies that addresses issues such as affordable housing, infrastructure development, transformation of community leaders as technically experts, developing accountability within state and local administration, social inclusion, proportionally space in city planning, etc. But in India, all the above mentioned aspects are vague. Strategically, the nexus of government officials, political leaders and builders are creating the different jargons oriented plans, policies, and projects to grab the living space of citizens living in vulnerable settlements. At early 90s, they gave the reason of beautification of the urban centers. And living spaces of city makers were demolished in name of debt. After 15 years, they brought new jargon. That is development of the urban centers. And now the new one is housing reforms of the city makers. In all the above mentioned three jargons, they are robbing the minimum existing living space, land of the city makers in the name of housing reforms. They are shifting people in vertical structure, G plus 8, PMAY. The previous models of vertical structures are already failed. And the people who are living in those relocated sites, which is 15 kilometers away from the city and the center or the place where they were residing before, are now compelled to move again 20 or 25 kilometers away from the present place. So you can't stop the multiple eviction and kicking off the city makers from the growing and expanding cities. Though the 1971 city development plan ensured the minimum space of 450 square feet of land to every citizen of the city to live with dignity, but it is not provided. The only way to bring the housing justice in practice is to transform the vulnerable community residents into urban planner, community advocates, and experts in urban governance can indeed empower them to advocate for housing justice in India slums. By equipping them with knowledge and skills, they can effectively engage with policy makers, urban planners, and other stakeholders to push for inclusive policies and initiatives that addresses the housing needs of slum dwellers. Additionally, producing thousands of expert spokespersons from the vulnerable community can amplify their voice and create a stronger advocacy movement for housing justice. This multi-pronged approach can lead to meaningful change and improved living condition for those living in India's slums. Empowering slum dwellers with land rights in India, addressing housing justice for slum dwellers involves granting them land rights, which can be achieved through several key strategies. Monitoring eviction drives, impl implementing robust monitoring system to track the frequency and reasons behind eviction drives conducted by urban local bodies. This data can inform policy decisions and interventions aimed at preventing arbitrary evictions and safeguards the rights of slum residents. Capacity development of community leaders Investing in the capacity development of community leaders is crucial by providing training in urban planning, advocacy, governance, and legal frameworks related to housing rights. Community leaders can become effective advocates for their communities. Equipping them with knowledge and skills empowers them to engage with authorities, negotiate for land rights, and participate in urban development process, promoting accountability. The transformation of community leaders into informed advocates fosters a sense of accountability among state and administrative authorities. When empowered leaders actively engage in political carnivals, I mean to say elections, decision-making processes, it encourages greater transparency, responsiveness, and accountability from government institutions. This collaborative approach strengthens partnerships between communities and authorities leading to more inclusive and equitable urban development policies and practices. By implementing these measures, 
India can make significant strides towards achieving housing justice for slum dwellers, ensuring the rights to secure land tenure and dignified living conditions are upheld.